Hey, once again, Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. You're um, obviously watching me here on the YouTube station, or maybe perhaps you're looking at this on the Tiger Trading Channel. Regardless of, of what you're or how you're watching, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, spend a couple minutes with me. Uh, we are still currently working and trading in our live trading room environment on our TCB crude oil product. Uh, TCB standing for taking care of business. It's going pretty good. It's uh, actually it was a really nice day today in front of the uh, Friday in front of the employment report. So Thursday, excuse me, today I'll be in October 7th, 2010 or the Thursday before the Friday employment number report or the monthly report that comes out once a month. Now, I'm still of the opinion, my bias is still telling me that that we're going to see a crash before we see a, a close above 11,000 on the Dow. I know that uh, it got very close. I think it went above it today in the index. Um, I'm talking about the futures contract here and not the uh, index that you would see such as on e CNBC or NBC or wherever else you might find that Wall Street Journal whatnot. I'm talking about the futures contract itself getting a close above 11,000. Now, obviously that's my opinion and it can be a bias and I kind of want to talk a little bit about having a bias and how your bias can be de detrimental to your trading and to your account as well. Uh, obviously having a bias in saying and, and, and an opinion, obviously we all have opinions and we all have biases of whether you know we like to get up early in the morning or we like to go to bed late or whatever we like to do, you know, uh, that there's always going to be an opinion about it. For instance, although we're not going to talk about this, there's always an opinion about what religion, politics, and, and you name it, all the, uh, the areas that can, everybody has an opinion about that and they're usually very strong on their opinion. Likewise, in trading, people have an opinion or a bias whether they like to uh, day trade or position trade, swing trade, um, spread trade, you name it. But, and we'll talk about having a bias in the market and how dangerous that can be as a day trader because you need to be just as nimble to the long side or going up, a market that's going up, as you need to be as nimble as a market that's heading down. Now, it's been said, and it's pretty much uh, true, that the market will go two to three times faster down than it goes up. And this applies also to the crude oil market. You'll find, uh, for instance, today's trade, I think we entered a little after 9.45-ish. Uh, the first part of that trade was out at 948 I think and then 950 for the second part and then 955 all out of this trade so what does that tell me that tells me that pretty much around 10 minutes or so is all uh, I guess that's about it what 9 948 950 955 coming in around 945 ish so it was a very powerful trade uh, ended up pulling out some serious bucks out of the market uh, if you were able to trade five or more contracts. So we do have a plan how you can go from one contract in crude oil to go to two, to three, to four, to five. And I'm actually pretty excited about um, the possibilities of this platform being Genesis Trade Navigator and the Infinity AT platform or Transact is it another name for the uh, Infinity AT platform is actually uh, a white label of the Transact uh, at transactfutures.com uh, or Transact is it transact.com I believe or Transact anyway so regardless you can Google and search it and whatnot and let's not get into semantics about that but um, I'm excited again too because uh, there is a, a product that's coming out called Kanjabi that I've been waiting for uh, actually they were talking about it coming out in July of this year and Three was it July, August, September, October. Four months later, they're finally getting ready to release this product. Now, obviously, that means nothing to you, um, but it does mean something to me and my business because I've been looking for a platform that is be powerful enough for me to launch my products off of, and I feel has a, the proper support, member site driven, uh, payment processing, and so forth. Everything that I need as a business owner so that I can put my product out there and a slick cool design um, uh, you know so that's kind of my thought process I've got some really good ideas that are been pretty much stacked up right now 
I'm looking forward to getting some of those ideas out to you guys. Um, we have our SSM product. We have our TCB product. I've got improvements to the SSM that I want to put out there. Uh, I've got the uh, obviously the T Tiger Trading Room. I have a YM, tra uh, a YM or an E mini Dow trading strategy. I have an E mini trading strategy that goes over and above and beyond the um, E mini bull bear method that I show out there for free and will continue to be free on our website, at least for the near future. I have a multiple market trading strategy. I've got the round table and I've got pretty much the coaching component as well. There's a lot of stuff that's been kind of put on the bookshelf per se, on the bookshelf behind me as well. Uh, but that's neither here or there. I'm looking forward to this rest of the end of the year, being October, November, and December here. Uh, the close up this year, it's been a, a good year. It's been a, a challenging year, but overall it's been a good year. And I, when, by being a good year, meaning that it's been uh, a, a year that I've learned a lot from as a, a trader and also a room moderator and a host of a trading room as well. Uh, I continue to learn each and every day. I strongly believe that if someone tells you that they're a master trader, you grab your wallet and you run quickly the other way as fast and as hard as you can. Um, I think that being a day trader, you're always going to be a student of the market. You're always going to have something to learn. They, there's a wise saying, obviously, that we learned as kids. Basically, the day you stop learning, what is the day you die? There, you know, just like we talked about the, I think in the last video I talked about the tortoise and the hare and and how this particular trading strategy takes advantage of, of basically uh, a profit uh, part of it and then you have the run or, or the what we call chasing or, or getting the going for the rabbit or, or you know the rabbit part of the trade so obviously we all as kids understood the story of the tortoise and the hare it was a slow steady pr uh, plodding along that won that race correct the tortoise part of it and this trading strategy has that income producing component to it that continues to prove itself over and over and over again. It's not slick. It's not fancy. It doesn't trade a lot, but it, it, it wins. And what do you want? Do you want to have 100 trades at the end of the day that you're paying the broker so he can have his filet mignon? Or do you want to make money? That's the kind of questions you need to ask yourself. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that will grind the hell out of your account. I mean, I've seen it. I've been in these trading rooms. You know, I've seen a strategy that that they try to go for two points and risk 10 or 8 or where the hell they're risking. I mean, what kind of idiot, not idiot, that's not that's too strong of a word, but what kind of trading strategy can overall, I mean, a couple losses in a row on a, when you're trading can wipe out a month's worth of gains, correct? We've talked about this before. Um, obviously, there's always people out there that are looking for the, the quick buck, the easy, you know, I, when I first entered the futures market, I was just like a lot of you guys out there. I thought, wow, this is the, this is the holy grail. I'm going to make a million dollars and, and within a couple months or so, you know, I mean, it, we, we, we all go through that pretty much. I'd say most all of us go through that. This is a great way to earn money quick. Then reality sets in. I think there was a something I read on elite trader, um, well, I think it was last week or this week, early this week, this guy had 38 points or 36 points about how you become a trader. And I'm going to go, yep, 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 yep. I'm just knocking off one after the other, after the other, after the other uh, on my particular trade. Now, obviously, I haven't arrived. I'm nowhere near that I want to be as a, a, as a trader, as where I want to be in my business. A lot of things that that I would like to accomplish as an individual uh, here at Knight Capital Management, the company that I own. And I hope and I continue to look forward to helping each and every one of you that comes along and through my door uh, and into our trading room and give us a try or whatever, regardless of, of your walk or what you're looking for in life. Um, I've been extremely busy for anyone that's tried to call me recently. Uh, just keep on pestering me that's my best advice with with that kind of just keep sending me email it will work out a time that you and I can talk together uh, I do offer that service out there to you know have a one-on-one -on -one talk and um, hopefully we we can mesh minds together and see what I am telling you is jives with you as well 
my core belief center is volume spread analysis um, developed by kind of if you think about Wyckoff way back when um, there's about a hundred year old trading strategy that takes advantage of price action momentum and volume those through those components as a day trader is what I believe in you're looking for they basically we're not professionals we don't know the stops most of us at least don't know where all the orders are but a lot of us can hitch a ride right or grab a hold of something that's getting ready to as it's leaving the station you're jumping along and you're hitching a ride and catching some of the middle of the trade that's obviously what we're trying to do on a trend related basis and kind of a cool part of this product as well as a way to catch the non-trending environment too and I'm not talking about making two ticks to risk 10 here either in fact it's reverse that type of thing logic we always believe in trying to go for a one-to-one -one profit ratio if not better on every and each and every trade that we make anybody that teaches uh, the other way around has got it wrong guys they have it wrong because just to make it in this business you've got to get above a, I believe in as a day trader you got to be above 50 percent now positional trader yes there are systems there's methods that you can go 30 35 40 percent even 20 percent I've seen one method that you can be one out of five or, or two out of ten and still make money because obviously it's going for the fences on a couple of those trades right and the, the, the wins make up for all the little losses that the particular trading strategy would, would demonstrate and show well I'm running out of time here it's about 12 minutes in, and we get 15 minutes now so uh, that's about all I want to talk about I just want to have this one-on-one -on -one kind of fireside chat with you here I like to try to see if I can keep doing this on a weekly basis keep you update with what's going on in my world um, my son's uh, D team football were 4-0 and the pens start tonight go pens uh, let's have a good hockey season obviously right uh, we have uh, my son's got three more games here and then hopefully we have a bowl game and then basically right four weeks or so hopefully hopefully things will kind of clear up for me a little bit as far as my evenings uh, coaching and whatnot and, and 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 being involved with my son's football and so forth but um, I think that's all I want to talk about I covered the trading bias I covered me just sitting here and having a little one-on-one -on -one chat with you I hope you enjoy this uh, we'll continue to continue to do it regardless of what's going on in my life what's surrounding me I like to take time out of my busy day and busy week and busy month and we're all busy out there I appreciate you taking the opportunity and the time to listen to me hope you have a great rest of your trading week and month we'll see you on the next video it's Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management talk to you soon bye now